maybe, maybe the four heroes who have been leaving comics for us have written some fan fiction for us. Maybe they've written fan fiction and they've ended the story and we can find out what happens to our mustachioed hero and his tragically broken heart. Why was he painting an X on the floor? There's another one over here. I can't see any more. Was that the Marauders or was that...? Because it looks like it's... The corporate commander that was maybe. I mean, he's got... Was he trying to paint some sort of landing zone? Oh, good grief. Apparently we missed lots of stuff. Barton, thanks for sub... Right, teammate's letter. Thanks for subbing in for Len... Lenida, Priantha scored one hell of a body goal on us last week and in the process tore our goalie a new Wednesday zone. Lenida's fault, Hullhead thinks he's Bertie Holcomb himself. Seeing as you just finished the night shift, Frida's letting us swing by her place to get some adrenaline time from her stash so you don't nod off mid-period and to give you a little edge on Doc Priantha, if you catch my meaning. Trust me, you'll be glad for it back in 20 Tillman. Oh, was there a game going on here? And apparently the Chem Canid Kings were absolutely mangling. Oh, is that what the... Is this some sort of goal? Post? Well, this would mean that whatever attack happened, happened mid-battle. Because this guy was... Or, no, mid-setup. Because this guy looks like he was painting the axes. Okay, that is a little odd. That is... Oh. oh, I've just remembered something. Do you remember we found a letter? We found a letter and it was like three of... Three... Um, it was... Clarence's deductions, Lucky's case notes, death certificate, Olivia... No, it was before all this. What? Okay, give... Um, codex. Logs. Teammates letter. Letters from Edgewater. Cousin Dan. Reads. Right. And I said at the time that I, I wasn't going to leave until I found these two. And I've not found them yet, have I? I didn't find them without realising it, did I? No. I mean, I suppose it's possible that the letters from Edgewater are all over the colony and not just here. But I find that... Difficult to believe. Are we going to have to break a promise and leave here without finding all of those letters? We might. That's unfortunate. I hate doing things like that. Right, anyway. So, let's go and... S okay, we found... What? What were we supposed to be... Doing? Journal... You found four issues of Archibald Excelsior's comics, each with a word written on its spine. Oh, that is, that's right. They all had. Right, scribbled in felt tip on the comic spine is the word enter. Okay, did I actually? Together they make the phrase, speak, friend, and enter. Oh my God, of course, they're absolute uber nerds. Speak, friend, and enter. Use terminal. Enter true fan pass phrase, which should technically just be friend. It should technically just be friend. I should just say the word friend. Right? But I probably actually have to say speak friend and enter. Okay, pa pass phrase accepted. One final task awaits thee, fair traveller. You must complete a test to prove your bona fides. But worry not, it should be simple for a true fan of the art of Archibald Excelsior. Begin the true fan quiz. Oh. 
It's going to test us on our knowledge of Archibald. Let's hope it's knowledge from these four. Okay, okay. Let's let's just let's remind ourselves. Um, he's dispatched to Olympus to put down the ravenous Manti Men and Manti Mastermind and his second in command, Spindle Knight Sisak Sassafras. There's a hand to hand hand to claw combat. And Excelsior is about to be bested by the insectile foe when his eye is caught by Isabella, famed fatale, the Manti Mastermind's dancing queen. Okay, right. Number two. Um, his run-in with the dancing queen, proven hero, is mending his broken heart in the glitzy city of Fairview. Horde of vicious crystal canids escapes because of an evil unemployed scientist. As the canids turn the city to ash with their plasma beam eyes, Excelsior descends into the depths of the lab, puts down the leader of the pack, King Alpha, using the skull of his own mother, I remember. Because, right, they've sabotaged Pet. Okay. Number three. Right. And in this one, the bad guy is Buff Hardman. Um, and also... The supervillainous a cappella band, the Sprat Pack. Right. Excelsior ex interferes with Hardman's plans to mind control the Sprat Pack. And then he turns his mind control on Excelsior. And finally, after narrowly escaping Agent Buff Hardman and the uh, a cappella group, he has a broken pet, his heart is in turmoil, and he is now... Oh, because of an ancient colossus slumbering beneath the crust of a prison planet on Tartarus, hungering for the flesh of thousands. The colossus lays waste to Maxim security penitentiary, and then Excelsior's nemesis Hardman returns. So now we must face two devilish foes, um, Hardman, the colossus, and apparently lava. But then lightning strikes the pet, probably fixing it, and... He now has a chance. Let's hope that's the information we need. Okay. Enter true fan passphrase. Begin the true fan quiz. Okay. On issue one, Plague of the Manti Men, what was the name of the Manti Mastermind second in command for who Archibald defeated in hand to claw combat? Isabella Fame Fatale, Dancing Queen. No. Sisak Sassafras, Spindle Knight of Olympus. That was the one. Correct. Two. At, in at issue two, Attack of the Crystals, what improvised weapon did our illustrious leader Archibald Excelsior use to exterminate the King Alpha? The skull of King Alpha's own mother, although his best friend, Frankie Gat, the living gun. <laughs> uh, a hairpin belonging to his adoptive daughter, Virginia Yang, girl detective. Nope, the skull of King Alpha's own mother. In issue three, Invasion of the Flesh-Eating Sprats, Agent Buff Hardman foiled Archibald's heroic plan to liberate the underground metropolis of Hephaestus from the Sprat Pack by doing what? Tricking Archibald with his dastardly mind control ray. I think that's the one. Breaking the dam in Lava River. Nope. Slathering the Sprat Pack in Anticleo's skin-hardening <laughs> metal metallicis gel. No. Tricking Archibald with his dastardly mind control ray. Four. In issue four, the Colossus beneath Tartarus, how did Archibald ignite his signature weapon, the pet, and put the titular giant down for good with his last space's Corona cigarette? With the muzzle flash from his pistol, the vermin, with a bolt of lightning from above. Technically, wasn't it? Yes, that's the one. It didn't actually mention whether it was from above, but we're going to assume from above. Alert! The passage is unbarred. Enter as a brother or sister, Birdie, but you are now a certified genuine super science sidekick. We are super science sidekicks. We've joined the secret society of super science sidekicks. Awesome. Okay. This has to be the place. I know a fan club when I see one. It's a little squalid, isn't it? I mean... Hello? What? Pick up the pet. That... 
It's a science weapon. It's a science weapon? This lovingly handcrafted replica energy axe bears a striking resemblance to the pest extermination tool wielded by pulp lection a legend Archibald Excelsior. With his famed pet in hand, the inimitable Excelsior exterminated a plague of mantimen, a horde of crystal canids, a pack of super villainous sludging, slinging, singing sprats, and a molten giant the size of a mountain. Wait, the actual a cappella group was actually singing sprats. The sprat pack were actually sprats. Okay. Um, all while nursing a broken heart. Only a true fan could have crafted such an improbable weapon. Okay. Special we It does bleed. Okay, but... I mean... Okay, I mean, just... Oh, yeah. Oh... Okay, and... Whoop! What's it doing? What's it doing? Whatever it's doing, I want it to do it again! I have no idea if that's any good. What I do know is we're damn well gonna find out. Let's try, let's try a slash. Huh? Oh, God. that was not... Slash and... Sorry, sweep it's called. Where the hell is he? Where, whoa! Sweep! No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Oh, of course I'm not getting healed. I'm not getting healed, right? No, it just seemed like the power attacks are better, but... Do I have to... Oh, I have to wait. Maybe I have to wait till it... Okay, until he gets the purple and then hit him. Do, 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 do I have to wait for the purple? Is that what I have to wait for? I'm gonna wait for the purple. I'm gonna wait for the purple. And then miss. Whoa! Whoa! Actually dying! Actually dying! Okay! Wait for the purple. Wait. Okay. Right, that almost went very, very badly. Do I have to wait for the purple? Like there. Is it just, is it a charge attack? Is that what it is? I can go in and just do an initial massive hit straight off. I mean, that's good and everything, but can I sort of do that with this in a way? I mean, if I do this and then, I, I mean, look at it, it does. Lightning and think that was an acid. This is Enray, maybe. Look, it just does random splooshes of of awesomeness. I'm determined to find out what this does because it looks so cool. Look at. That has got to do something. That has absolutely got to do something. Maybe we need to find something bigger to hit it with, yes? It's probably that. Probably wasted on small things. All right, let's sell some of this stuff. Tinkered up. It does do more damage, but it's still below the prismatic hammer. It does look very cool, though. I don't know what this thing is or why it glows pinky purple. But I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. That does look really awesome. Although it also kind of looks like it's going to be setting my shoulder on fire. But hey, let's not worry too much about that. Before we head off to speak to Minnie and give her the journal that apparently we can't read, I do want to just quickly check in with the guys and see how everyone's... Bearing. As always, I am at your disposal. 
Yeah, best not use the word disposal at the moment. Had some bad experiences there. Um, what's your whole take on the Gorgon business? Any new thoughts? Exploring the human inquiry and auditing facility was a deeply disturbing experience. That's not particularly new or, um, or, uh, enlightening, to be honest. I think we all knew that. Ellie, sorry we didn't take you out, uh, for, for the last bit there. I just, I really thought Sam might want to meet. It didn't go well. It really did not go well. Something on your mind? Okay. Any any new thoughts about Gorgon? I've done some crazy jobs, but this one is more complicated than most. And I have a feeling we've got a few more surprises in store. Yeah, I bet they're not going to be that surprising. I bet they're not going to be that surprising. Sure. Something on your Although mind? If you've not figured it out, I could, I could, I, I can try to stop the spoilers. I can try and stop. Why are you in the Oka's room? No challenge is too large. No mess is too small. No, no, no. This challenge is too much. And I'm suggesting we just leave that one. Yep. Nope. 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 Definitely don't want to know. Something busted, Captain. Uh, yes, the entire Halcyon colony. Uh, what are your thoughts on Gorgon? You want to ask about anything in particular, Captain? I don't know, I'm just looking for... Oh. I'm guessing Edgewater's been weighing on you. Yeah, I mean, it's Space's choice after all. That always said I couldn't keep my thoughts to myself. Even when I wasn't speaking. I've been churning on that phonograph we found. The one belonging to Dr. Ambrose. The one where she says Spacer's Choice tested Adrena Time in Edgewater? Yeah. Yeah. By the time they sent that drug to Edgewater, they knew it hurt people. That it made them violent and stole their minds. But they did it anyway. Edgewater was already fraying at the edges and they tore it right to bits. All to make money. I just can't conscience that kind of cruelty, no matter how hard I try. It just Don't try. makes me want to scream. <sighs> Thanks for letting me talk, Captain. I've been needing to get that off my chest. Yeah, no problem. Any time, any time. We are going to make this right. Well, we're going to try, but any time. You want to get anything off your chest, no problem. I still ain't used to folks asking my thoughts, Captain. Sorry they all came tumbled out at once. Thanks for hearing me out. No worries. Did you ever... Oh. Have you ever tried Adrena Time? Because I tried it once. Not a fan. <laughs> nuh -uh. Dad wouldn't let me near it. He was a real big believer in rest. Not his own, mind you. Mine. The drug was no substitute for that, he said. No matter what Mr. Thompson told us. He never did follow his own advice. He worked himself to death, and the company didn't even thank him for it. Okay, did he take Adrena time? Not that he told me, but Edgewater was a big town then, and it only had me and him to keep it running. Most nights after I got to bed, he'd just keep working. I always wondered how he had the stamina. Turns out he didn't. Well, he... Yeah, I'm sorry. There's not really a lot else to say, is there? Thank you for saying so, Captain. He died a long while ago now, but... It ain't something you ever get over. You just... Learn to live with it. I'm... Still learning. Right. No, we're not going to learn to live with it. We're going to learn to take out our anger on uh, whoever's responsible. If we can find them. Which is, of course, a big if. We're going to return now to Mini. We are receiving an incoming signal, Captain. But I was waiting. Captain, I see you've made some headway oh. on Gorgon. Mother's old work terminal just lit up with a bunch of new protocols. Very exciting. What about Mother's journal? Any progress there? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, look, I think it's time you tell me the truth. Are you accusing me of deception? Captain, I would never. Can you hear me, Captain? I'm getting some interference on my end. Captain, 
Captain. Is this one of those I'm going into a tunnel moments or is someone actually trying to jam us? Hello again, little weasel. I must admit, you've surprised me. I threw nearly everything I had at you. Your minis, Mom. And you overcame it all. So you're the one who put the Gorgon facility on lockdown, yes? Well spotted, Captain. We've both played our roles well, but it seems you've got the edge. I may have gravely underestimated you. You were smart to hire him, Wilhelmina. Well done. Mother, you're alive! And I'm still on Gorgon? Oh yeah, sorry. Shock! She's alive! I forgot! Yeah, no! Wow! Never saw that coming! Whoa! Dun dun dun! Etc. Um... No, I'm just gonna listen. This is so you, Mother. Inserting yourself where you aren't needed and at the worst possible time! <sighs> Am I disrupting your vanity project? You empty-headed little twit! Okay, not... No, no, just gonna, just staying out of this. Have you come back just to ruin everything again, Mother? At least this time, I have the power to stop you. Captain, this is a distraction. Let's set our differences aside and focus on what matters. Adrena time must never be revived. Agreed. Uh, you're damned re revive the project. What's going on? You've been trying to kill me since I got to Gorgon. Now you want my help. Who was hired? I was hired to retrieve a journal. The fight was... No, your daughter's trying to revive this project, isn't she? You're trying to stop it. She's trying to revive it, possibly to prove she's better than you? No, you're damned right. It should not be revived. Is that what's in this journal? The secret to um, Adrena time? Because you're damned right not giving that to anybody, if that's what it is. Adrena time didn't create marauders. Mismanagement did. By now, you realize that Project Gorgon was devoted to a single drug, Adrena time. A drug that hit the market in spite of calamitous side effects. And in spite of its deranged, irresponsible researchers. Quite right. There's no end to the harm a poorly run team can do, even with the best of intentions. That's the not the best of intentions, a though. Failure. But you and I are going to revive it from the ashes. No. No, we're not. I'm game. Where do we stop? No. After everything I've seen, absolutely not. Yes, let's make more of a drug that turns people into deranged killers. Great plan. Uh, no, after everything I've seen, there is no way, okay? What you've seen is the result of Mother's leadership. I have no intention of repeating her mistakes. Mother's All evidence journal contains the, the activation codes for the contrary. Adrena Time Synthesizer, the key to a new Project Gorgon. We're going to start again, and this time with everything Project Gorgon didn't have. Better R&D, better scientists, clear goals, more funding, and a timeline that makes sense. If you were arguing about something like, I don't know, you were making a whole new... TV, or or a better vehicle, or a better spaceship, or improved auto mechanicals to make life better, or a better way to, you know, feed people. You know, why are you spending your entire time trying to find way ways to make people work harder and sleep less instead of using all this science to find ways to actually feed people? And who's going to provide it? What? Provide the... Her? Do you think that's all it will take? Frown thoughtfully. Fra yes, I'm going to frown thoughtfully. This is my thoughtful frown. You have every reason to doubt me. But if you have a short hope think? for a better colony, consider what Adrena Time could do for us. If I can improve the chemistry, I can fix Adrena Time. We can put this colony back on track together. That's completely insane. Yeah, yeah, no, that's insane. That's insane. Is it? I'll tell you what's insane. Every day workers slump over from exhaustion. The gears of industry swallow them whole, and no one is coming to help. Adrena time is the right. break we can't fit into the schedule. The office with a window we can't afford to build. 
It's the best this rotten colony can do for people. No. No, the drug. Drugs are the best you can do. Drugs. I mean, your argument is, we need this drug to make people work as much as we want them to work. How about making them work less? Oh, <gasps> shock, horror. Have them work less, but put all your science and research into the whole food thing. You know, making people's lives better instead of making their lives miserable. Hmm? Drugs. Drugs are the best you can do, right? Is that it? Is that all you can think of? Drugs? It's a bandage, not a cure. Halcyon is wounded, and I will do everything It's not a bandage, it's not a cure, it's bleeding. salt. Don't let those bloodless leeches at Spacer's Choice walk you down this perilous path, Wilhelmina. You haven't the fortitude to endure it. You're As not usual, helping! As mother projects her failures onto me. If she had let me get involved from the start, we might have avoided this calamity altogether. Do you even understand the challenge you face? Are you just trying to prove yourself to your mother? You are, aren't you? Can I just get back to being a freelancer, one who doesn't care? No. So you're t are you trying to prove yourself to your mother? That's what you're trying to do, isn't it? My intentions are greater than some family squabble. Besides, mother is the one who should be proving herself to me. Fuck your intentions. What have you done? I always suspected you were nothing more than an empty-headed social climber. This confirms it. Okay. Ollie, could you shush for a minute? <sighs> yeah, no. I kind of want to tell her to stop, but I also kind of want to let them talk and see where they go with this. I never trusted her from the start. Well, I, I sort of, I th I'm just gonna let them talk. You see what I mean? Mother is afraid of being outdone by her empty-headed daughter, and she'll do anything to stop me. If I can save the colony and redeem the Ambrose family name, I owe it to myself to try. Mother be damned. Okay, you can't though. Adrena Time's just a stimulant. What good do you think it can do? You want to save the colony from its drug problem with more drugs. Can't you two sort your differences out and work together? On what? Maybe I should kill the both of you and be done with it. At least a little bit tempted. So you want to save the colony from its drug problem with more drugs, right? Social engineering takes generations, mm, and we good. don't have the luxury of time. We need to mainline progress into Halcyon's bloodstream. By You've injecting seen more of things this literally than the average grunt. into its bloodstream. You know as well as I do that this is a question of survival. Right! And you're doing the absolute opposite of what you should do! There's an entire set of labs out there trying to find ways of making people eat less. They're using all their scientific research to make diet toothpaste so people eat less. Instead of finding ways to make more bloody food! Whereas there's a woman on in Edgewater, who's figured a fairly gruesome but effective way of doing it. And I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you might be able to solve the problem. Enough top one, I can't use it, but no. Adrena time's just a stimulant. What good do you think it can do? With Adrena time, we can increase worker productivity orders of magnitude above ordinary stamps uh, and risk none of the harmful uh, side effects. Imagine if we flooded the market with drugs that actually helped people. We could influence the very business model of Spacer's Choice. You want efficient, happy workers. Halcyon's problem is cruelty, not productivity. Yes, Halcyon's problem is that you don't value your workers beyond what they can produce for you. You're supposed to value what you produce for what it can provide the people or the workers. You've got it backwards. Halcyon's problem is cruelty, not productivity. We won't be exploiting workers any longer. We'll be celebrating them, giving them everything they need to succeed. No, this is madness. The project, the complex, it has to be destroyed, razed to the ground. 
It's the only way. After everything I saw on Gorgon, I agree. Gorgon was doing good work. Uh, it could still help the colony. No, it wasn't. It was bloody awful. I didn't see anything down there that was good. Even the people who had good intentions were just idiots. They were doing it for all the wrong reasons. The project was chaos. It doesn't deserve a second chance. Enough talk. What happens now? Can't you sort your differences and work together? No. After everything I saw on Gorgon, I'm afraid I happen to agree with Minnie's mum. Gorgon is a cautionary tale. We agree on that much. But if we go into this with open eyes, then history doesn't have to repeat itself. I need that facility online, but I can't do it while Mother's still a problem. By now, she'll have shut down the Gorgon reactor. Good. Deal with her however it suits you, and get that facility back up and running. Don't do this, Wilhelmina. Minnie, don't make this choice. Adrena time is our future. It's bigger than money, bigger than family. It's the colony's best hope. <sighs> this could get ugly. Are you willing to take the chance? What would you have me do instead, Olivia? Yeah, w Olivia, what would you have me do instead? Return to my family's manor, Captain. Use the executive override code in my journal to activate the NDA protocol for my terminal. It will destroy the Gorgon drug synthesizer and put an end to Adrena time for good. Right. You really think Adrena de time deserves... Of course it does. Uh, Minnie would never allow that. I'll do whatever it takes. I will do whatever it takes. One last thing. Minnie. She... She will try to force you to fight her. You don't have to. In fact, I would ask you not to. Whatever mistake she might make, she... She is still my daughter. Captain, in light of recent events, I'm putting the manor under lockdown. Until Mother is dealt with, anyone who lands here is presumed hostile. Finish the job. I know you won't disappoint me. Wink and make finger gun at the screen. No, cut the transmission. Was it? I don't either of you... Why? See, now I'm thinking maybe I should actually see if they could work together, but like on a different project. I don't want them working together on this project. It was a horror show. Even if you can get rid of the side effects, you know, and not have everyone turn into marauders, it's just, this is not the way to do it. I'll be in touch. All right, time to talk to everybody again, I think. See if there are any last minute pieces of advice. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Thoughts on Gorgon again. Can't help wondering Sorry. if we're doing the right thing. For us, the Ambroses, or even Halcyon. Maybe there's some way we can get them to work together and fix this. You think? What do you think we should do about the Adrena Time Synthesizer? Ain't no good can come out of turning that machine back on, Captain. Not after what we've seen here. No. Even with Miss Minnie at the helm, how can we be sure Spacer's Choice doesn't do Adrena Time all over again, but worse? We can't. Dr. Ambrose means to make certain they can't even try. I know she ain't exactly a nice lady, and it's her fault the colony's even in this mess in the first place. But she means to stop the hurt she caused. We gotta help her try. Yeah, no, I sort of agree. I agree. If Minnie fixed the dream of time, a tireless workforce. No! Just, 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 no. You're right. We can't let Spacer's Choice get their hands on that machine. We can't let anyone in this bloody system get their hands on that machine. I knew you'd understand, Captain. Whatever good or bad you've done, your heart's always been with Halcyon. Folks in Edgewater bad. worked themselves to nubs for Spacer's Choice, and not a single thing got better for it. It's the board that's keeping Halcyon from working right. A better drug ain't gonna make them stop. Thanks that for hearing me out, Captain. It's true. Ain't many folks have ever done that for me. Okay, no, no, this is, this is, you know, I'm relying on your judgment uh, quite a lot, so thank you. Uh, I need to talk to everyone yet again, except Sam, who really doesn't seem to care. But I also want to speak to Neoka, so I may have to wake her up. Felix!
Good to see you, boss. Got a minute to talk about Gorgon? Looks like you got a big decision to make. But I guess that's why you're the boss. Uh, what do you think we should do about it? I'm glad you asked, because that's an easy one. It's going to involve blowing it up. Project Gorgon was a mistake, and it needs to be destroyed. Got it. Uh, Project Gorgon failed because the leadership was incompetent. Olivia Ambrose tried to kill us. You remember that? I'm surprised you're not supporting Mini Ambrose. That's all I needed. No, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by anything of that. Nope. That is all I needed to know. Thank you very much. Anytime, boss. Yeah, all right. Anything else? Two of you are on my side. Good, good, good. Ellie, I have a feeling you're going Taking to try it easy? and talk me into trying Something to make this work. I don't know, though. You did actually sound like you were pretty disgusted by it. Let's talk about the Gorgon job. And I thought my mother was a handful. This job has gotten messy. Real messy. What do you think we sh I should do about the Adrena Time Project? We, we. Hey, you're the captain because you're the one who has to think about this stuff. I'm just along for the ride. As your captain, I'm ordering you to give me a system. Come on, I know you've got some thoughts on this. You were in there with us. Minnie may be an empty-headed socialite, but she's got money. I don't trust her with Gorgon, but that'll be someone else's problem. You don't trust Besides, her. Besides, Dr. Ambrose is an idealist. And you know what I think about idealists. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Ellie. This, 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 this is... All right, what, what do you think of idealists? They're dangerous and annoying. Mm-hmm. If it makes you feel any better, Halcyon's probably fucked either way. So we might as well pick the option that pays the best. How is that What's supposed to mind? make me feel better? Really? Seriously, how was that supposed to make me feel better? Sure. So you're saying Something we side with mind? Minnie just to get paid? Okay, that's three for destroy the place, one for get paid probably. Organic waste discovered in location X99-5275. Seven dash one. Positional mess now qualified as recurring. Calculating possible solutions. Okay, Calculating. please don't. Please don't clean up Calculating. the oka. Preparing to move all items quantified as containing alcoholic properties as found on the premises. No, because that would involve neoka as well. So please don't. Okay, Sam. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error. Refill printer paper. No, that's good. I'm um, guessing you don't really have an opinion. Nyoka! 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 I'm thinking Nyoka wants to blow the place up. I'm going to assume that's four for blow it up, one for get paid. Max! I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Actually, you Something find yourself you, with a completely useless vote, because blowing it up is winning, but I thought I should probably ask you anyway. What's your take on the whole Gorgon business? Now that we've gotten Olivia's side of this whole fiasco, have you given much thought as to who you'll be siding with? Oh yes, lots of thought. Who do you think I should side with? It's not my place to say, Captain. You run this crew. I merely serve on it. Now you're getting coy with me. You never had problems spouting off before. That may be, but I'd like your opinion. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and get Olivia and Minnie to work together. Am I? I mean, it'd be nice, but on something completely different. No, no. Look, I'd like your opinion. I believe Minnie means well, but she's playing with forces she doesn't understand, and I don't just mean Adrena time. Even were she to succeed, what would it mean to the people of this colony? Do you really think they'd be given a choice as to whether they used a drug that boosted their productivity? And, even in the unlikely chance they were, I do not believe the colonists are equipped to make that decision for themselves. You've seen how they rationalize even the most abhorrent corporate practices. The board will work them to death even more effectively than they do currently, and they'll thank them. So you're for blowing it up as well? Oh, excellent, excellent. That's five, that's four for blowing, five for blowing up with me. One doesn't care and one wants to get paid. The boards works them to death anyway. A better drug could actually save them. No, it couldn't. Well, you can't let workers' health stand in the way of profit. What if Olivia and Minnie work together? Maybe they can change things. Change what, though? Change what? What, 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 what do you think they could change, maybe? Maybe they could change things? You may very well be right, but... It will not be easy. No. Will that be all? 
Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you then. I mean, if we could get Minnie to so sort of, you know, agree to let us blow the place up and then start something else, but, like, we can't... I mean, if we leave the place open, if we leave the place open, Spaces Trace is just going to go in and... Well, do the same stupid thing again, right? Out of curiosity. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Do you have any... No, you don't care. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Right. Will do. All right, then. Well, it looks like... We have got to go... Oh, let's just double-check this. Let's double... D Double-checking the options, even though I know what they are. Side with Olivia and destroy the Gorgon project, or side with Minnie and restart it. Uh, restore power to the synthesizer through the reactor room at the bottom of the facility where Olivia is waiting. Head to the mansion, activate the NDA protocol to destroy the Adrena Time synthesizer. If I had... Destroy the Adrena Time Synthesizer and Olivia is there. Will she die? She possibly will. All oh, right. But she would know that and is willing to take that chance. Right. Let's... Let's end this horror show.